Well, good morning, all. It's a pleasure to have another day to share in prayer with you all. I'm grateful for these times together. And uh, as you come on today, just open your heart to all that God wants to do in our lives. You know, we are in a state in our world uh, where, where we are in need of the activity of God's spirit through our hearts, through our minds, to lead the way forward. Uh, these are times where we're calling for justice uh, and we are also calling for uh, the move of God's spirit in our communities, in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in our nation, and around the world. Uh, and so we're just going to enter in this zone today. God, we thank you for the, the activity of your presence that is always operative in our midst, oh God, even when we're not aware of it. We give you praise today that uh, by faith we realize that we are part and parcel of the substance and nature of God. We thank you, O oh God, that your word declares that we've been made in your image and in your likeness. And your word also declares that you are spirit. Those who worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. And so, God, today we thank you that since you are spirit and we are made in your image and likeness, that we are spirit. And so, God, awaken us to the reality of you being our spiritual parent, birthing us. And since we are birthed from you, that we are spirit. And so today, God, we thank you for the reality of knowing, for the truth of knowing that in you, we can supersede any physical sense awareness and go to our source, realizing that you transcend all materiality. You transcend all physicality. And because you transcend materiality and you transcend physicality, we understand that we are connected to spirit. We are spirit. And so God, I pray right now over every nation of the world, specifically the United States. We pray over our cities and the um, turmoil that we are experiencing due to injustice and due to some of the, or the original sins of this country, namely racism and hate. And so God, we just speak against that today. And today we want to call into our awareness, love. We call into our awareness, justice. We call into our awareness, you keeping us amidst the craze of the storm. And so, God, we thank you, Lord, that every storm that's ever occurred in the past, oh God, you have enabled humanity to continue, to press, to overcome. And there has been light in the midst of darkness. And so, God, we pray that even now, today, in this time, that light would arise in the midst of darkness, oh God, that even through the tumultuous times that we might be experiencing, oh God, that the light of your awareness, the light of your spirit would penetrate our thoughts, would penetrate our consciousness, oh God, that we might go forward into life with the awareness of your light working. There is an affirmation that I love um, that declares that um, uh, everything and everybody works for my good Ultimately, it's connected to Romans 8, 28, which declares, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to God's purpose. Um, yet also in that statement, we've realized that it's not necessarily that God causes bad things, but that when you are situated in the love of God, that those bad things can, can be turned to work in your favor in some way and in some shape or in some form. And um, this this week I was meditating on the writings of Catherine Ponder and one of the affirmations that she has in her writings um, releases us into that dimension. And it says, everything and everybody prospers me now and I prosper everything and everybody now. So even when situations are looking like they're turning down, we can declare that they're working together for good. In fact, I just encourage you to declare over yourself right now, everything and everybody prospers me now and I prosper everything and everybody now. And so God, I thank you that you would open the windows of heaven over our spiritual insight that we might see you working even now, oh God. We see you working. We see you transforming. We see you renewing, renewing. We see you reviving. And so, God, I pray over every heart and every mind, oh God, that there would be a raising, that there would be a lifting, that there would be a shifting, that there would be a lifting out of the quagmire of the problem, oh God, and that there would be an advancement forward. So, God, I pray your protection and your light and your strength, oh God, over the anchorings of every social 
force in the world that even those things that some might perceive as bad, that you would cause it to work for good. And so, God, I pray that not only would justice be served, but that you would cause the advancement of the kingdom of light, the kingdom of love, the, 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 the beloved community of people that would be able to exist in wholeness, oh God, that even through the turmoil of what we're seeing now, that there is the emergence of that wholeness working out in our affairs. Now, specifically, personally over us, let's begin to pray over each of our souls individually. God, I thank you that no matter what might be going on in the external world around us, oh God, that you would pour peace into every heart, that you would pour wholeness into every mind, that you would pour strength into every spirit, that you would pour resolve into every state of being, oh God, that that we would rest in our inner anchoring in you. Oh God, we give you praise today because you've given us an instruction. You've given us an insight that the garment of praise, that we are to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And so God, we even uh, acknowledge that there's a spirit of heaviness and for justified reasons, there might be a spirit of heaviness, oh God, over the blanket of our culture. And so, God, we pray that that in a supernatural way, that from the depth of our core, that there would be a spirit of praise in spite of to magnify you above every problem and to magnify you above every trial. Oh, God, we call on the victorious realm of heaven today, oh, God, the victorious realm of heaven to search just as the lion of the tribe of Judah would roar in victory over the oppressor. Oh God, we thank you for the victorious mindset and the victorious spirit and the victorious light, oh God, to work its way through us today. God, have your way in every uh, crevice of our economy, of every crevice of our social justice system, and every crevice of our path in existing, coexisting with humans. Oh God, we pray that your victory and your light would surge through our hearts, surge through our minds. And so again, we just want to release this affirmation. Everything and everybody prospers me now, and I prosper everything and everybody now. I've taken that from the writings of Catherine Ponder, but put that affirmation in your spirit today. Yes, Miss Dawn, good morning. Good morning to you. But let's put that affirmation into our mouths. Let's put it into our hearts. Everything, even contrary conditions, Everything and everybody prospers me now, and I prosper everything and everybody now. We're going to declare over and above, maybe somebody might be experiencing a loss. Maybe you might be experiencing the tumultuous time that the world is facing, and it's impacting you very closely and very personally. Well, we're going to affirm everything and everybody prospers you now and you prosper everything and everybody now. It's a declaration of spirit. It's a declaration of word over and above your present dilemma. And it's a framing of your situation. It's a framing of your realm with the word. You know, we have authority in our mouths. We have authority in our spirits to frame situations. And how we frame situations is of utmost importance and is what determines what pathway we move into as we move forward. Things can be going crazy all in the world around us, but how we frame our situations is what is most important. So God, we frame it today. We frame it, oh God, by saying and declaring in Romans 8, 28, that whatever it is, it has to end up working for good. In fact, we proclaim a re-steering and a redirection and a refocusing of every circumstance we're experiencing now, oh God, that it would begin to redirect and refocus into the path of wholeness and wellness. Lord, let it be for your glory today as we proclaim that you rule and reign above all problems and you transcend all problems. Now give us the insight that we might move forward, not in the struggle, not in the strain, but in the peace and in the reality of your wholeness, that, that justice would go forward and that you would also keep us secure in you that you would keep us secure in your love, that you would keep us secure in your light, that you would keep us secure in your wholeness, secure in your spirit. God, I thank you for empowering every life today, for empowering every mind today to move forward, to go forward, to put one foot in front of the other and to be light in the world. God, empower us to be light so that as we go forward, even things that were arranged against us have to turn in our favor. Even things that were meant to 
to take us off course, have to turn in our favor. And so, God, I pray for a turning in our favor. I pray for a redirection. I pray for a refocusing and things turning in the favor of everyone hearing this and those who are connected. So we give you praise today, oh God, that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to our purpose. We believe today that we are called according to divine purpose. And since we are called according to divine purpose, we are kept secure in the mate in the face of conflict. We are kept secure in the face of hysteria in the world around us. God, we give you praise today for being our anchoring amidst the conflicts of life. We give you praise today, O oh God, for being our source and our security. Now let your kingdom realm reign through us, through our minds, through our words, through our speech, through our awareness, through our centeredness. We acknowledge you today. Now let us go forward into this week, O oh God, remembering who we are and whose we are. And as we release the word to frame our world with this word, we frame our worlds through the words we speak. And we frame our world today by declaring that all things have to end up working together for my good as I go forward. And everything and everybody prospers me now and I prosper everything and everybody now. God, we release that in our path forward and things begin to move and shift. As the favor of God works through us, O oh God, let your kingdom realm be enacted through us, through our speech, through our minds, through our visualizations, through our beliefs, through our centeredness and calmness in you. We give you praise for another day to be alive. Now glorify yourself through us, through light, through love, through wholeness, through victory, through advancement. In Christ's name, and we all pray. Amen. Good to be on with you today. And good morning to you too, Neil. Hey, y'all, go forward in the light of God and stir it up. All right. God bless you. Have a great one. Bye.